the Yom Tov of Purim. So I just wanted to share with you a very, very interesting Ha'orah. Uh, not this Shabbos, but the Shabbos, right, you know, the day before Purim, or the day before Yudalit, uh, we're going to have Parsha Sachar. And uh, Parsha Sachar is the only Kriya Satira that many poskim say is a chi of the Arisa because we fulfill the mitzvah of Zachor Eisa Sher Asolacha Amalek. Uh, that we remember the uh, evil of Amalek and the Chiv to erase Amalek by a Kriyasa Taira. It's not so Pashat that it's the Arisa, because after all, even though there is a mitzvah, the Arisa, to remember Amalek, but the Taira doesn't say it has to be through a Kriyasa Taira with a minion, meaning it's not so Pashat that the Chiv of Parsha Socher itself is, is, is a the Arisa, but you are Makayim a mitzvah, the Arisa, through the Kriya of Parsha Socher. So first of all, there's a very interesting uh, Ha'orah of the Chassam Seifer that's Nogel the Halacha this year, although it's a little too late to, to fulfill it. And that is, uh, L'chaira, the mitzvah of remembering Amalek is every day. In fact, in, in many Sidurim, we have Sheish Zechiras, or Ten Zechiras, or Four Zechiras, there are different listings. But on all of the lists of things you have to remember every day is remember Amalek. Zachor Eis Asher Asalcha Amalek. So if you don't say the Sheh Sechiras, why isn't there a Chiyav to mention Amalek every day? So the Gemara in Megillah explains because we say that uh, Shechecha does not occur. You don't really forget something till 12 months pass. And therefore, as long as you verbally remember the evil of Amalek within 12 months or before the expiration of 12 months, so Memela, the Zechira is considered to be fresh in your mind. So normally, from one Parsha Sachar to another Parsha Sachar is going to be uh, 12 months or less. But, he says, when last year was a Shana Pshuta, and we read Parsha Sachar in Adar, and this year we'll read Parsha Sachar in Adar Sheni, so it turns out that there are 13 months between Parsha Sachar and Parsha Sachar. So L'chaira, that allows the memory to fade. So says the Chassam Seifer Echidish Lahalocha that in order to be sure that you never have 12 months without the remembrance of Amalek, when we read in Parshas Kiseitze, that's where Parsha Sachar is from, which is um, before Rosh Hashanah, you should have Kavana, so I'm going to tell you a late Halacha, but this past Parshas Kiseitze, one should have had Halacha that they want to be Yotzei Parsha Socha, and the Balkari should know that as well, to be Maitzi, everybody, in order that they shouldn't have Yudbeis, Yudbeis Chaydish. So it's a very interesting aura of the Chassam Seifer. Now, Lemaisa, the Magen Avram, uh, says that if a person missed Parsha Sochor, they could be Makayim Parsha Sochor with the Kriya Satira of Purim. Now, that's not going to address this issue. You still have the, the uh, 13 months. Because on Purim, we also read about Amalek. In fact, on Purim, we read the actual story of Amalek attacking us at the end of Parshas Peshalach. So it says the Magen Avram, Parshas Peshalach is just as good a Parsha Sochar as Parsha Sochar. Very mistavra. But Lamaisa, many Yachreinim argue with the Magen Avram because they, they, make, they, make, uh, they make the following observation. Maybe you're only Makayim Parsha Sochar with a Parsha that talks about the mitzvah of remembering Amalek, meaning in Parsha's B'Shalach, it gives you the Maisa, by Yavai Amalek, but it doesn't specifically say you have a mitzvah to remember Amalek. The mitzvah to remember Amalek is only in Parsha's Kiseitse. Mimela, some want to learn, they're chaylik in the Magen of Ram, that you're only Makayim, Parsha's Zohar, in a Parsha that calls upon you to remember. And Mimela, they're chayla, they say, you're not going to be yaitse with, uh, you're not going to be yaitse with Vishalach, only with Kiseitse. On the other hand, like the Mitzvah Chinuch says, the Dairaisa does not require a Sefer Torah or a Minyan. So that would actually mean, if you happen to miss Parsha Sochor, so you should read in a Chumash the Psukim of Kiseitse with Kavana to be yaitse Parsha Sochor. Because as I say, I mean, the Minchas Chinuch says very mistabra, there is nothing in the Dairaisa of Zechira Samalek that requires a minion or a Sefer Torah, even if it's those specific psukim 
that you have to read. This is also an etzer for, for women. I'll talk about that a little more biarichas, but you know, um, I don't know, I, think, I have a sense that it's less you know, obsessive in Eretz Israel, one of the very few things that's less obsessive in Eretz Israel, and that is uh, women do not make as big a deal that they have to hear Parsha Sacher. But in America, like Parsha Sacher is like one of the Gimel Chamuras, much more Chamur than a married woman covering her hair, uh, which, which, is, which is not a big deal in America at all. But Parsha Sacher they have to hear. So you have to have like five minyanim, ten minyanim, you know, hundred minyanim, Parsha Sacher. But the MS is, the simple ace is, if any of your, you know, anyone who's married, if any of your wives could not uh, make Parsha Sacher, then the Chalapachas, they should read, uh, or you could read for them even, they should read the Psukim in the Chumash, and the Doraisa of Parsha Sacher, they're probably going to be Mekayim for sure. And in terms of the Drabanan of Parsha Sacher, that's just a Kriyas HaTorit HaKahalacha. So, so in Mela, many sheets say women are not Chayavais in Kriyas HaTorit. So that wouldn't be a problem. In other words, once you factor out the Doraisa, the Chiyav of being Kore, the Shabbos before Purim, from a Sefer Torah, so that would be the same as any Chiyav of Kriyas HaTorah that, that many, many Shittas say, not everybody, but many Shittas say women are